Becky has just chucked a load of stuff in here. How's she gonna fit in here? What the hell is this? Mm. What do you mean, what have I done with the brush? What have you done with the brush? <laughs> well, I don't know what I've done with the brush. I haven't done it, though. Why are you asking questions about the brush? <laughs> well, I haven't done anything with the brush. Yeah, we oh, need some I air haven't... in here because you're ill. And if you get me ill, what are you doing? You're so going to get ill. Jelly Bean, cover your ears. No, she can't. Right, cover her ears, Becky. Shut all these vents so she can't hear us. So as some of you may know, I have been considering upgrading to a slightly bigger adventure vehicle. Just because I want to go on bigger and better adventures and make bigger and better videos for you guys. There's a number of options available. I could obviously buy a slightly bigger van and convert it myself. Or I could look at buying a pre-converted van. Or I could look at buying a motorhome. And that is the avenue which I am pothole! Speed cameras. So the first thing I did was I reached out to my mate Steve from the Roaming Radfords and my mate Darren from the Urban Motorhome because they are obviously going to know what they're talking about. And I asked them where was the best place to go. And both of them told me there was only one place they would trust and that is Oak Tree Motorhomes up in Nottingham. So I did a little bit of research online and I found out that these guys have won two awards last year. One was second place for the best motorhome dealership and they then won a second award coming first place just two weeks later and that was also voted for by the public and finally i checked on trustpilot and they are literally the top trusted motorhome dealership in the entire country now what was that help help <laughs> becky what was it <laughs> so i rang them up and i spoke to the owner rob because i was just making some inquiries and it turns out he's actually seen some of our videos and not only that, I have somehow managed to persuade him to let us borrow either a camper van or a motorhome for about a week. Oak Tree Motorhome! God, look at them all, there's loads. Wowzers. I hope we get a huge one. Right, Victoria, let's go and find our new home for the week. Woo! She needs a wash, Becky. Yes, she is. <laughs> all right let's go and find rob i feel like a kid in a candy store oh, no. look at them all hey. look who it is double camera filming look hey, god mate um, this is one thing i'm worried about the carsey situation why are you worried why well is i she, don't know she, if i can have a stink? dump in a bucket <laughs> <laughs> Look, it is basically a bucket, isn't it? No, it's a no, toilet. No, it's a toilet! Miss, I eat toilet. my Watsits with a fork. Yeah! For context, I do eat Watsits with a fork, but who wants cheese dust on your fingers? <laughs> I'm not sure if I can have a dump in a bucket. I might have to go on my hand and chuck it out the window. <laughs> You're a weirdo. That's weirdo. That was, like, <laughs> that, was, that was like when you got the cheese and there was a dribble of water on <laughs> yeah, it, a little bit of condensation cool. from the chip that was inside a closed packet on the cheese and you're like Ugh, and wiped it on grass and the owner himself has turned up <laughs> nice to see you rob hi adam so we've been given full permission to wander around this entire place and take a look do we have full permission to drive away anything we want or have we got a haggle we'll on we'll have that to one? have a chat we'll have, <laughs> we'll have, to, have, to, have to have a chat, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but um yeah basically we're going to take a little look around now and check out all the different options and see what Becky prefers. <laughs> the Oak Tree Motorhome Farm! Farm? <laughs> We're not growing them. Yeah. Look at this flock of wild motorhomes. Wild motorhomes. <laughs> Look at the state of this one. Surely this can't be worth much. Oh, is this your one? <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. She is a beauty. There's a microwave! Sold. I love a good microwave. I'm guessing this comes out into a double bed. How much was this one? About 60 grand? Mm. I don't think it's enough. No. It's not good enough for me. Cheap. <laughs> Cheap. <laughs> Next. I've never really been a fan of the idea of the pop top. Pop top. Pop top. Make it drop. Pop top. Make it drop. Pop top. Make it drop. Personally, I think if we're going to do this, what is the point in stepping up a little bit to something that size? We might as well go all out. Yes, here we go, Becky. I think we found the one for us. Oh, yeah. 62995. Welcome. <laughs> look, look at this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Table Where's the bed? Something. Doesn't the table do something? Well, yeah, this will turn into a bed, there. but I thought it was a fixed bed. Oh, bring her down. <sighs> look at <Whoa>. that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sold. <laughs> I actually love it. The selection they've got here is unbelievable. They've got two main yards and then a smaller bit out the back where they're doing all the prep as well. So I know some of these do have high price tags, but they also do sort out finance deals for you. I found the one. This one. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning. Would you like a hot beverage? I bought a caramel latte last night. That'll do nicely. <laughs> no worries. Uh, what about some breakfast? For breakfast, we have bacon or bacon. Good morning, guys, and welcome to the new adventure wagon. This is the kitchen area. This in the background is our fixed bed. I really wanted a fixed bed. And let me welcome you to the dining area. This bench seat turns into another bed. I believe it connects to this bench seat over here to form the guest area. We've also got a table that adjusts. We've got swivel seats in the front so we can turn around and drive with our backs to the road. That's going to be safe. Obviously, we've got the screen up at the moment, but you can see out of that if you want when you're driving. You can move it to one side. Oh, and let's not forget, we have a microwave. A microwave! And up here, this thing is genius. The guy walked us through this whole thing last night. It's got all the settings for absolutely everything on there. You can switch between gas, electric, the lot. And obviously, we opted for the upgraded model, which does come up with a private chef. <laughs> And in here we have the bathroom. Hi guys! So as you can see, we are still at Oak Tree Motorhomes. We had to stay here last night so that we could sort out the insurance this morning before we drive off. I can smell something good in here. Is this cooked enough? Would you like it more? Now it's just a question of where should I sit to eat my breakfast? Yeah. I've got multiple options. Oh, what a service. Thank you very much, Becky. No worries. Down in the comments below, I want you to let me know, do you prefer brown sauce or red sauce on a bacon sarnie? That is the one. Cheers. I'm pretty sure most normal people, if they knew they were getting a luxury motorhome for a week, would have planned some <laughs> sort of route or destination. Mm. What have we done? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're required at the front of the bus. Is the bus? Is everything locked? It's, it's two o'clock. <laughs> which means we do only have about two hours of daylight. The reason why is we've been chatting to people around here. This place is mental, honestly. I thought like they maybe sell one motorhome a week, maybe one every two weeks. They've sold six today. It's insane. This place is so popular and I'm not surprised to be honest, it's amazing customer service. They give you three years warranty when you buy a vehicle. They give you a year's MIT, year's tax and they service it for you. So. Yeah, I really do recommend this place. All right, I don't drive automatics. How do we work at this? All right, we're in D. Oh, yeah. Just Handbrake's on drive. the right, that's weird. D does mean drive. All right, well, let's just go, I suppose. Let's just We're moving. <laughs> God, this is a beast. On a square cup, where do you drink out of it? On a flat bit or on a corner? Oh, that's a good question. All right, hopefully the back don't swing out too far on this beast. <laughs> the diesel's on the left, right? Yes. Whose oh, silly an idea was it to lend us a motor? Know, <laughs> After know, our last know. video. First task complete. So now we've got to figure out how to swing this beast around corners. Out around here. Gently does it. Around here like a pro. Oh yeah, we haven't taken anything out. When you have a beast like this, you can't just rock up anywhere and park. You have to find something oh. right at the back of the car park. Oh look, what about there? Because the geezer said we've got a massive overhead. Yeah. And he says you can do stuff like that. Yeah, he's gone all the way back. What, so the overhang just goes over there and everyone's fine with that, are they? <laughs> Job done. Bob's your uncle and Nanny is your font. Look at that for a bit of parking. Not too shabby. We've got this giant overhang at the back here. That's about the length of the jelly bean. But yeah, she's tucked in a good one. I have to say, I'm quite impressed with myself. They're calling every number but yours. That's right. Oh, nice. Sweet, cheers, mate. Right. Right. If 
feel very little in this big van. I feel very big in this little van. <laughs> I think the plan is we want to explore the Lake District over the next few days. So we're going to start heading up towards that way. We're already probably halfway there. Yeah. We can go off grid tonight. We've got full batteries. Yeah. If we go off grid tonight, then maybe tomorrow we'll go find a campsite maybe. Hang on. Do we need our own lead to plug this thing in? Or is that part of the campsite's thing? I don't know. Darren, I did tell you this would happen, mate. We'll be asking you many a question. Were we supposed to bring the lead for the electric hookup? All right, we just pulled over at a lay-by on the, some road. I don't know where we are. Becky's taking it upon herself to jump straight into bed. We're not stopping here for the night. I'm just pulling over for a quick five minute break and to get on park for night to try and find somewhere to park up. We were gonna stop and get some food somewhere, but it doesn't look like there's any supermarkets around here. We need to get back on the road. No. Oh, Becky. <laughs> so where are we going? A service. The services. The services, but there's a reason why. I was just looking it up. There's a services near here. It's the best services in the entire country. I've heard about it before and I've always wanted to visit. I know it's only a service station, but trust me, <laughs> It's a good one. It is a good one. All right, let's make the long journey to the front of the wagon. Hold on, we need to turn all this gear off, don't we? High on the hills with the lowly goat and yodly yodly yodly. Yeah, we'll just pug ourselves right up in this bit here, look. Look at that, another beautiful spot of parking. Absolutely beautiful. So let's shut up shop for the evening. Let's shut them all up. There's our motorhome friend, and there is the tank. I can't wait to have a shower. So we need to turn the hot water on in order for the shower to commence. Yes. Look at my little office setup. I'm well happy with this. The table moves. I've got the laptop out. Whilst the rolling beast is heating up and the water's heating up, I'm going to get on with some work and then we can jump in a shower in about half an hour and chill out for the evening. So there's a few of these three pin plug sockets knocking about around the van, but they only work when you're on electric hookup. But me, being the god of electricity, I have us covered. Welcome to my secret stash of power stations. We're relocating to a flatter parking spot just around the corner. She might be sticking out of the bays a little bit. I mean, the parking bay ends there and the beast ends there. Marks out of 10, is that a good toast or is that a good toast? It might sound a little bit dry, <laughs> but I mean, really, this is moist to the core. See? That is the one. Yeah, cinema. Yo, Tube. All right, well, it's officially mine. Um, it's not driving anymore. All right. I'm still half asleep. Last night's shower plan, well, did not go to plan. We were watching YouTube and we were just so tired we fell asleep. Becky especially, she's still feeling a bit ill and I'm thinking I might be coming down with it because I feel like a lump of moss clinging to the underside of a Jack Russell dog who's been traipsing through a stagnant old pond. But this was the park up for the evening. That is the world's best services. I'm gonna go show you that shortly, but right now, it's time to see if we can coax Victoria out of her cocoon. Oh, would Get you look going. at that? I don't even have to do anything. She has risen. <laughs> risen from the dead. What would you like for breakfast? Well, Victoria, you don't need to worry about what I would like for breakfast today because I am in charge. What? We are in the world's best or the UK's best services. <gasps> I'm oh, treating yeah. you for breakfast the over there. But I am gonna make you some sort of tea or oh, coffee. Yes. What do you want? Tea, please. There Thank is your brew. You. Ah, so hot. Ah, 
It bit me. Right, I forgot about the electric hookup situation, whether or not we need a lead. Yes, you were meant to bring the lead, <sighs> and you uh, probably need a hose pipe as well. <sighs> We should have probably given you uh, so you can fill up the water. So Darren says we do need an electric lead and we also need a hose for the water. He says that there might be one in the garage. Oh, look at that. We are saved. Perfect. So that's a water hose and I guess that's the electric hookup. Toria. Yeah. We are saved. Woo! Would you go behind there? Yeah. You stay in front of it. Go like this. Oh, I thought it was just going to soak the toilet. I didn't realise this thing was going to fix our lives. There you go. Duh. I'm showering in the bed. Gonna soap up my hair and soda a body. Oh, it's a beauty. I can feel the natural air. You used a grand total of 12% water. <laughs> Woo! I think I was very sparing with it. I left my underwear on in the shower by mistake. He you left your underwear on. <laughs> so. I walked in with my underwear and I was like, oh, there we go. Oh, I'm clean. Da -bo -dee, da -bo -da 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 -dee, da -da oh, Becky. <laughs> right, that's my cue to go and have my shower. We've got enough water. Oh, great. Turns out I packed the wrong shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> We've reparked the motor outside the entrance. We're gonna go in and check this place out. Oh, look at that view. Oh I didn't even God. see that last night. <gasps> oh, lush. So this is what Already, this is living up to its expectations. The views that you get out of the little restaurant window over that pond is spectacular. I think we should go and eat our breakfast right up against the glass. Yes. Scones. Oh, yeah! Becky! <laughs> <laughs> there was a man and then he just looked at me like, what are you doing? As far as motorway services are concerned, that one did not let us down. We just had a little wander around the farm shop that they got in there. I bought a few gifts for some people, maybe for myself as well. But seeing that view out the window when we were having breakfast has really made me excited for the next step of this journey. I know this video has been like all over the place and completely unstructured, but the next one, we hopefully will be waking up tomorrow in some nice scenery. Fingers crossed. So stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna get Adam lost and maybe throw him in some waterfalls and then maybe go for a swim. I don't think you are capable of swimming. I want you to prove it. So turn around, uh, breaststroke first. I can only do doggy paddle. Oh, and I can do backstroke. Go on, show me then. That's not <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is. You should be kicking your legs in the water and then you'll be going like this. No, that's sort of some drowning puppy style. <laughs> no, it's not. As always, a massive thank you to everybody who's donated to the channel by buying me a brain cell through the link in the description. So from us and the magnificent rolling tank. We will catch you on the flip side.